beautiful people you're once again welcome to another edition of the Sherma show on today's edition of the Sherma show we are honored to be in the presence of one of Africa's finest Herman Kamte Herman is the founder of Herman Kamte and Associates welcome to the Sherma show Herman thank you to inviting me on the show I hope that we will share about you know many questions that can help people to know more about my job or maybe to you know to get inspired i believe so so you know you actually studied at ecole africaine de matier de l'architecture et de l'urbanisme <laughs> that is right. right okay so who was herman before then <laughs> Um, what can I say? A man is, a, it is a, maybe an old man today because I have like 20, 20, 28. I still have my, my hobby when I was young, like watching anime, gaming, you know, video games and playing, you know, I'm playing with my friend like I was a child, you know, we are often traveling and make a lot of things. But before going to Eamo, Eman Kamte was, you know, like, come on, Cameroonian. I am a citizen of the country, <laughs> you know. I grew up in Yaoundé, okay. Yaoundé um, in, um, you know, Longkak, Bata Longkak, because my, my father, my father is like an engineer in demographic study. Okay. And she met my, my mom in Douala, but they finally decided to live in Yaoundé. I born in... 1992 and after this period i also um, traveled to ngaundiri that is where i spent the first year of university i started in physics science and what we have you have to know is at university i was not like predestined for architectural school no mm -hmm. that is was not my first choice mm -hmm. when i was young i have like a dream three dreams and i come to realize these dreams I would like to be like a politician because okay. I think that the politics was very, very bad. Okay. And also like a businessman. And today, through my company, I also try to invest to other business. Uh -huh. And finally, like a builder, that is what I'm doing now. I like yeah. it because I am a builder, I'm an architect, I belong to the builder. And that is, for me, at university, I'm, I was in Gaoundere University to get my maybe my lessons and travel to outside the continent to learn, you know, about construction, not architecture, because yeah. I was, I, you know, I will, when I was young, I was looking like, you know, the TV show and, and National Geography calling mega structure. Yeah. And in mega structure, I was impressed by one of building, you know, there is a building built by um, Asymptote Studio, an architectural mm -hmm. films. You know, you have an hotel in Dubai with mm -hmm. a racing trip. It was funny for me. It was a big experience to mm -hmm. show how much human can use, you know, some pebble and some stone to build something powerful. Mm -hmm. That is what bring my interest in building environment, no, oh. but not in architecture. Okay. Because the, the final decision to go in architecture, I remember that one day, that is a pure hazard. I, it, wow. Yes. One day I was in school, uh, in university, and... Yeah. My father called me, he told me, okay, Herman, I want you to do the school of law. I told to my, to my dad that, no, it is not interesting for me. I don't mm. want to do that. And I, don't, I am not sure that at this period I will really know that what is the job exactly. of architecture. I want to be true. I was not informed uh, or aware about that. I, have, I know that I have seen this show and I know to make something powerful, I have to be a builder, not wow. an architect. <laughs> and he told me, okay. You don't want, but I want you to do. Mm. And finally, maybe two weeks after, he called me that, okay, I have registered for you and you mm. have to, you know, you to write the competition. Yeah. And yes, okay. And I went in Yaoundé. I remember that I haven't listened. I, I, I was not prepared because I will mm. not do that. Yeah. Yes. And finally, before choosing what, because uh, Eamu is proposing two, three kinds of course. You have architecture, urban design, okay. and you know, we, we call in French gestion urban, like managing the city. You okay. know, after all this profession, you have those people that are close to you no know, community or you know, city or to manage the city. Okay. And he told me, what do you want to choose? I, choose to, I say to my father that you have to choose what you want. <laughs> and my father 
just choose architecture because you have a friend that is architect. Oh. I think that that is what influences his choice. Mm -hmm. And I remember that for me it was not, you know, but finally, finally, after doing this competition, yeah. you know, it is a scholarship. Okay. Yes, the school in Dome is a scholarship. Wow. It's a scholarship given by the government. Yes, it like is. Like everybody who goes to the school? Yes, if you have, if you pass the competition, you can, yes, it is a scholarship. Wow. It is free for, you don't have to pay any money. Once you have been chosen after the competition by the government of your countries, you don't have to pay any money. It wow. is free. Yes, it is amazing. scholarship, yes. But it's French. Many, the competition <laughs> is written in French Thank because, you. you know, the school in Togo, you have like 40 nationality from Central Africa country and Western Africa countries wow. that is yes though after this element finally i i oh, have been so. yes <laughs> i have been choose for the competition for the as you know scholar the, yes yeah. as one of the fellow but it was not so easy because why this year the cameroon decide to choose five people wow and i was the sixth on the list oh. yes and finally the fifth have decided to travel in Italy to do architecture. Oh. And that is what I have, I have been chosen mm -hmm. to complete the list and go into Togo. Wow. And I remember that the, the heat of architecture, uh, uh, like, um, you know, at the Ministry of yeah. Urban, and he told me that you have to show us that you have the right to be here. Wow. And what I can say is the first years of my school, one of my professor into the school and he told me what in into we have he was in the classroom he said what do you want to be and many people has hesitated and i say i want to be the best architect in the world wow. that is what i said that's nice and after one year when i was in the second year of school my many of my professor called me professor Kante because they told that you are doing architecture like you have doing before wow that is my story so, but now when you look at an architect, right, so I read online, somebody described an architect as being kind of like an office building and design being like the interior. Do you agree with that statement? No. Okay. No, no. Um, what we have to understand about this is, you know, architecture at all is not making a building. Okay. You know, it's more than cultural concept philosophy why because when you are going to you know uh, anglo-saxon country yeah. it's you mostly understand architectural design to describe a piece of building they say architectural design why because architecture is more than culture and design is very like um, you know like technical skills you have to yeah. make architecture yeah. today when we say architecture an architect is not doing only it's not doing like office building it's mm. doing everything and interior is a part of architecture because in architecture you have outdoor and indoor design okay. you understand yeah. design is a set of skill you know you have like product designs okay. for in, in the product design you have industrial design okay. industrial design is like a camera that is actually mm. you, we are actually using for this show a camera is product can be product at industrial scale but generally the other design is like a unique piece a client can tell me that hey man can you do that shape that fit my need for my home you understand yeah that is another way to see the design but architecture contains a lot of culture it is important if you are doing that is why people doesn't make the difference between architecture and construction Oh, I guess. It is not the same things. So if I'm in Cameroon, for instance, right? Yes. And okay, I have my design, I can conceptualize the design and everything. Can I just go ahead and build a house? Yes, normally in each country you have there is a rule about construction. There are there is rule that help to make a boundary around construction. In Cameroon I think it's like it's not really clear because about the, the size of the building, okay. but in many countries, average is about 140 square meters that people can build without an architect, but by consulting a state architect. Oh. 
meaning that in each uh, you know in each uh, community you probably have someone which is related to the state like in here in Douala premier there's there's someone which is related to this city that can teach you that okay you have to you you have made your building you need a permit but for need permit you have to your project have to set a certain rule and it will help you to say that this is okay this is correct this is not correct it will advise you give you some advice to redefine your project normally you will give you some honorary fee but it's not like you are paying for an architect to, to doing a whole design yes thank you makes a lot of sense <laughs> <laughs> Don't go away because Herman Kamte is still in the house. If you're just joining us today on the Sherma Show, we are here with Herman Kamte, the founder of Herman Kamte and Associates. So, um, Herman, when I look at your designs, right, they are remarkably beautiful. So what plays more, the creativity or the knowledge that you got from studying architecture and design? Um, what can I say? You know, for me, architecture is firstly about creativity and knowledge too. And we cannot dissociate, you know, creativity from, you know, from knowledge. Okay. Because maybe at at some point, you can say knowledge is a knowledge mm -hmm. because there is many people that own knowledge and which are not considered as creative, you know. But creativity is a knowledge too. But I am not sure we can teach creativity as well. I am not sure. Because creativity is about your feeling or your relationship between it is a relationship between you and the things that are surrounding you. Okay. It is important to understand that. That is also, creativity is also the vision that you have for the thing around you. What drive my creativity, an example, is how I see that culture and sustainability can contribute to build a healthy space or, you know, a more interesting, attractive space for my pe for people living in my environment. I mean, Cameroon or Africa, and knowledge. It's like you can master technical skills. Yeah. You can be aware about a lot of things. Knowledge is like you can you can use different information in combining to make maybe maybe a clever decision. Yeah. It is also a part of creativity because creativity is there's a lot of knowledge behind creativity because from my side I'm reading a lot of books, you know, I'm watching anime. I, maybe I don't tell you what I'm watching anime, but anime for me is like maintain my, like a child's soul, you know. When you are, you know, when you have a child, it is like innocent. Mm -hmm. You don't really know what is about, what is important, what is not important. Mm -hmm. You do think like he came into his mindset, he want to, you know, they, we are using, you know, sand to build castle, we are, we are using paper to make plane, yeah. like, that is the heart of a children. Wow. And from my side, I'm trying, I am old today, like, yes, I am old. Wow, okay. <laughs> I am old, it is normal, I don't, I, I am not 20 years old, it, or, 15 years old. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. am, you know, when I say I'm watching anime, many people say, why, you are too old for that. <laughs> but for me, it is maintain this environment. I maintain my creative environment. I need to see, you know, some, like, innocent. We don't really, when you, you watch an anime or a manga, yeah. it is not like, you know, you don't have a drastic way to see the world. The author are going to different universe, they bring you information everywhere. You can pick it, you can, you know, you can use it to transform your environment. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want to be like the serious man that he, he wake up, take a breakfast, going to work mm -hmm. and could, no, I'm not living like that. You know, sometimes I just read book, I watch my TV or play, you know, metal games or something like this. It is, for me, it is important. 
So someone described your work as a true definition of future designs with a sweet taste of sustainability. That was the definition of your designs. So I like the sustainability part, okay. So how important is sustainability? Um, sustainability is, you know, when you say sustainable in French Jura. Today, sustainability can be seen like the better way you use resource you have. You know, sustainability is also like a clever choice because sustainability today is too much close about, you know, uh, we say global warming. That is why people are really attached to sustainability only in design environment. But yeah, we can do sustainability in everything. The way you manage your water in your house, in, the, in your house. In Cameroon, you know that we don't have a lot of access of water, of, mm. what, of drinking water. Yeah. This means that if you have access, you don't have to use it like, you know, you have to be aware that there's other people who doesn't have. It is like a smart use of things. And in sustainability, many of these elements can be taken to our natural environment. Oh. Sustainability, sustainability is very inspired by, you know, fauna and flora. You can see how much, an example, our listening, our showing an event where, you know, an engineer saw how he used, you know, um, how can I say, the toile d'araignée to transform into someone we can use to build, you know, our house. And that is about sustainability. Mm -hmm. How to, we call it also biomimicry because in sustainability you have different fields. Yeah. You have biomimicry, natural means, and another thing. But that is what sustainability means. Using our resource, the smart as possible. Wow. So the building, Lagos wooden skyscraper. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind the conception of that building? In short, before we go, that building is simply breathtaking, honestly. Okay. I really <laughs> love it. Everything about it is just so sweet. So please, what was the inspiration behind the conception? What I can, can I say? I think that what is special in Lagos wooden tower is about this project is half like three main challenge. Okay. You know, firstly, it's the fastest growing cities. The competition, I can, teach, I can tell you a little bit about the story. Sure, the, the Lagos, the, this project has, is born during a competition launched by the company, a Sweden company, which will build something in Lagos. It was an international competition. It was like 50, close to 576 comp uh, entries. Wow. And we was chosen among the 20 finalists. Wow. Yes. Congratulations. Was among, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Because the project was dealing about fastest growing city, you know, cultural identity and local material. For fastest growing city, an example, Lagos is the fastest growing city in Africa and one of the fastest in the world. And when you are in Lagos in Nigeria, you it is like Cameroon, you know, the project can be also like Yaoundé Wooden Tower and yeah. something. But it is more philosophical than, you know, for me the most important was not the building, but the philosophy behind the yeah. building. What the building is supposed to convey, like yeah. emotion, like impact or social impact. Mm -hmm. And for this building in Lagos, you have many concrete buildings, a lot of things. And when you are in Lagos, you don't know that all these part of the country belong to, you know, forest. They don't use the local, they don't use forest resource. Mm -hmm. When you know that in Africa we are, mainly in Central Africa, in many countries of wheat forest, we are like child of forest because everywhere you have tree, you have, you have, you yeah. understand. And colonization make us understand that wood is like a poor material. Mm -hmm. When you are using wood for construction, like you are, you know, they say, oh, this is a problem. And you don't have money to mm. build something, you know, something solid. Then that is the opinion of people. And for me, it was like breaking the rule to say that, no, wood is not for poorest. Wood is elegant and 
you know, sweet. Good. Yeah. It is like something you can have more natural. And we say wood is like modern natural fingerprint inside our, you know, artificial environment. Because yeah. when you are create a building, you are create an artificial environment. Yeah. And in Lagos, it is important. I create it tall too because in Lagos, like in Cameroon, yeah. you have well, you have like with the fastest growing city, you have more need from the population than the possibility or the capability of the government to solve the problem. Mm -hmm. I think that we have to go in here maybe to bring facility close to people. Yeah. That is was the first part of the challenge. The second was the cultural identity. Yeah. With this project, I received many prizes that the World Architectural Festival, the best cultural identity prize in 2017 mm -hmm. in the world. Because they say that many architects, few architects, I think about mm -hmm. cultural inside the project. Today we are going to globalism. And I say, in our culture, in our land, in our environment, we wow. have a lot of culture, poten potential in terms of culture. In Cameroon, we have more than 200 culture. Mm -hmm. in, Nigeria, in Nigeria, they have also two. And how to use this legacy to yeah. transform the environment, how to create more original city, not fake city, because oh. I think that <laughs> many of our cities are very fake, and how to create more regional city, city that look our need, city that African can be proud to say, this building is looking that what my grandfather does, yeah. but it is maybe so more sophisticated because we are involved because mm -hmm. Going to the future is not saying that you have to forget all your culture, it's yeah. to improve in your future, to bring it from regimental, technical to something special, something specific that you can transform and give more value to share with the world. Wow. And this project, I receive a lot of, I receive, I think, one prize in each continent wow. because of his cultural impact. People are very close. And today, I continue to receive, yes, oh. because of this. I, I am actually work with the, the, you know, the branch of Commission, European Commission, yeah. on sustainability because they want to, we work on how to improve, to implement wood in different com country oh. in Africa. Yes. So, but what are some of the advantages of wood, maybe other materials like um, steel, concrete? It, the advantage is wood is depending on the location okay. first because when we are talking for me advantage in wood in this project was about its availability as sustainable material but okay. I will not recommend you to build a, a wood house inside the desert it will not oh. make a real sense because it's like you will cut you know travel because when we are talking about sustainability we also talk about circular economy and everywhere okay. but. Finally, with wood, the advantage between wood and concrete, it is natural material, biodegradable. After the use, we can reuse the, the wood. Wood is flexible. Okay. It allows us to make a lot of things. You can have doors, you know, windows. You can have you can have different shape. It is easy to mold wood, wood, and also it is strange. Yeah. Because, you know, when it depends on how you associate different pieces of wood, but with wood you can have a real, you know, you can have a, an interesting wood berry structure. And also wood is not, bear, is not burning as fast as people think they burn. No, mm. no, it is not like this. Really? Yes, it's different. You know, in wood we have different species. In Cameroon, we have like 300 species of wood. You can, and many can be used for construction, wow. you understand? That oh. are the advantage of wood. Also, other material has all their own advantage. Yeah, that's right. But for me, the advice is, in our environment, you can use, also use this material to build our environment. I oh. didn't finish. There's a last point. Please tell me. Yes. <laughs> the, the last point yeah. about this project was material at, in terms of creating jobs. Jobs. Jobs, yes. Because wood is a good material, but wood industry is also a good business. Yeah. And 
this kind of building will create a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs. Oh. That is also the idea behind the project. Because people have to benefit to the project as well as the city when the project is rival yeah. cities. Wow. It was also another point of this project. You know, I'm just a student here, right? <laughs> <laughs> so please don't go away because Herman Kamte is still on the share my show. <laughs> If you're just joining us, you're welcome on the Sherma Show. And Herman is helping to spice the Sherma Show. Herman, first of all, I want to start by saying congratulations on making it on the Forbes on the 30 list of 2019. So what was that feeling? But for me, it, w it was good, you know, to be on the first list, Forbes list is already good because when we was here, we say <laughs> <laughs> the, form, the people on the form are among the powerful or the richest people in the world. But I think that at the moment it, I haven't feeling this like this. Yeah. And what I recognize is about I think that I was the first or the second architect round by Forbes. Wow. You know, architect is a small architecture is a small business and mm -hmm. many people doesn't see like uh, you know a big unicorn a full yes a full flesh that is the mm -hmm. right the right word and it was good but i was in a creative this yeah. means that it is not only considered as a business but it is a creative yeah. you know creative wow. is not a bis real business but it's about recognition of your mindset in some you know in some in something but it was also um, like a challenge because meaning you know the fob list is like fob say and the fob list meaning that you will create more than a thousand jobs and maybe own uh, you know <laughs> a width of 200 million dollars mm. yeah <laughs> it, it is possible as you are, when you are an architect it is possible but it is a lot of work yeah, 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 <laughs> trust I... me it is a lot of work but also it also means that People recognize what you are doing. Yeah. It is like people recognize what you are doing. People recognize the value of your work. People recognize that your work can impact, you know, can impact the environment. Mm -hmm. And before, I am very happy because before before Forbes, I also made a presidential talk with President Sisi and wow. President Paul Kagame. I was invited by the mm -hmm. government in Egypt and Ria commissar for this talk because I was also recognized like among the creative entrepreneur wow. in in Africa. Wow. And I, I was invited in different, you know, different events with the same thematic. I mean that Forbes was, you know, like wow. a big point. I have also been ranked by Quartz magazine. We have the same in terms of, you know, like Forbes. It is good. It is a good point yeah. in terms of maintaining your creativity. It is good for you, like, behaviors. It, you know, you have to push, you have to push, you have to move. This is good. Okay. So all this recognition, right, what does it actually mean to you or to your business, the recognition? Okay. Mm, that is, <laughs> that is <laughs> a good question. <laughs> Firstly, you have to understand that being the Forbes, it is something i give you the definition right now it but to grow a business it took time to grow a business it is not like you will start you will start this now and it will just go like you know it took time to grow a business and i am in the game since only four years because i have been graduating in 2016 i think i just have four years in the yes i'm mm. just architect since four years oh. and i think i have done a lot mm. of things and i have to do a lot of things because i hope i will be in the game One for 80 years to bad, you know <laughs> yes i want to be i want to be the hundred old men which are doing still doing <laughs> business <laughs> so herman you're talking about having time for friends and family right so given that you're the ceo of herman kamte and associates how do you manage your time so much so that you still can afford time for even us, like being here on the Sherma show and doing other things? Mm. <laughs> I am not sure that I am the best, the best manager on this planet because 
firstly, I, Eman comes and associate this a small company, and this small company allow me to have this flexibility because yeah. it is not big, and at this moment, I don't want it so big. Okay. Yes, I want it like this because for me, I'm still learning. I told you that I am only four years in the game. I'm still learning and I want to learn a lot of things before saying that I want to grow, I want to be big. Mm. Why? Because be big means that this is, you have, you know how, because before managing people, you have to know what they have to do. You know to be aware about what they have to do, what are the capacity, capability and everything. Why? Because it helps you to decide that this thing can be done in this amount of time, this, 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 this. Mm. For me, I just say that there's time. For me, there's time to work, there's time to, to play, you know. Mm -hmm. But it, for me, it is like, you know, a free decision. Okay. I, don't, I don't have, uh, like, uh, I'm not trying to have a busy agenda. That is not, no, I'm not the guy who's trying to say that tomorrow I want, I have something to say. An example, I know that tomorrow I have one client or two to say. But it is not like I know what I will do on Monday or next Monday. It is not like this for me because I have a small company. Because when you have a big company, it is different management. Mm. But at this type, at this size of my company, I can manage client. Because at this moment, I want to do the best as possible for the client I have. Because you know, your, your client are like ambassador. Many of my Client today come from the first client, the first toll to the second, the third and third, and see, you understand? Yeah, like word of and mouth. Yes, yes, because today maybe eighty percent of my project come from twenty percent. Wow. Yes, because only one client can give me three or four projects. That's impressive. Yes, that is what I'm saying, because I'm trying to do the best as possible. At one time, I will say, okay. I already do this, do this, do this. Now I can maybe, I am not sure that at the final stage I will stay the CEO. Maybe I will get the CEO, someone will do that. I'm doing just architecture or maybe going to, you know, you understand. Yeah, but at this time, I'm trying to be as free as possible, to be free on my, you know, on my time, how I'm managing my time. It helped me to decide at this moment what is important for me or not. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, we could go on and on and on, but please, before we go, what can you tell a young entrepreneur who comes to you for advice? In this country, we have a lot of talent people, and the advice for them is about discipline and organization. If you are talent without discipline, it is nothing, because you can achieve nothing with discipline. With the, without. the talent is good, but without discipline, it's nothing. But People without talent, but with, who are disciplined and well-organized can succeed. It is normal because when you are disciplined, you, can, you know what you have to do, where you are going, and you have a lot of change to achieve your goal. Be, stay who you are. We have a lot of default, you know, mm -hmm. you have a lot of, we are human. We don't have to be perfect. I am not sure that the, the aim is to be perfect. Mm -hmm but we are trying to be happy on what we are doing and just try to be happy on what you are doing. Oh, it is important. It's like a sweet melody in my ears, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Herman, just for relaxation, we have some questions, yeah? You just choose three. <laughs> so we'll start with the first one, okay? <laughs> wow. <laughs> so... Okay, you can read it out and maybe tell us what you think. If you could read minds, what will you want to read? Mm. Oh, I think maybe what people, I don't know, what, what people want to be, what people want to make for, for the, you know, for humankind. That is what I would like to know, mm -hmm. maybe. Makes sense. Okay. The last one. The last one. What gift of gesture will make you fall in love we storm on instantly. Oh, I like true people, true mm -hmm. people that are honest, you know, 
I feel it very interesting because many people are fake. Many people are trying to be someone else, yeah. you know, some people just to want to express you sometimes. You know, sometimes you are going to, to a restaurant with a lady, she told you, yeah, yes, yesterday I was with tell with this, with this, with yeah. this. And in my head I say, I know many presidents, but I don't <laughs> tell that I know that, that. What is the fake, you know? Just tell me that this morning maybe I woke up, I do this, maybe I take a coffee, and this journey may be boring for me. Because the reality is, there there's some bad day, there is a day that you are not happy. You know, you, have, you just have to be real, you know, to be true. Oh. That is what I have. I, I like honestly. Beautiful. Know, honestly. Okay. So. Haman, it couldn't have been better. Thank you so much for being on the Share My Show with us today. Oh, thank you to you for inviting me. You know, I travel for... <laughs> <laughs> I'm hours. telling you, can you imagine? Uh, yes, just to no. be here with us. Thank you. But Thank that you shows your good heart, so and we are really glad. Merci beaucoup. How can I, people get to you? I have a website, okay. you know, I have a web website, I have an Instagram account, What's Facebook. Name? I have the same the, the same name in the social media. social media. Okay. But I have a website, hermancamte.com. Okay, then. It was amazing being with Helman Kamte today. I hope you enjoyed yourself and thanks for always coming back to watch episodes of The Sherma Show. We are here because you're there. Thank you. And please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.